All right, we're here with Tom from HTC, and he is going to walk us through some of the specs of the HTC One series, and then go through the really awesome camera features. Awesome. So the HTC One series is HTC's most premium uh, smartphone series. Uh, it comes in three devices, the HTC One X, the HTC One S, and the HTC One B. What is really exciting about them, they all have uh, an amazing camera experience, an authentic sound experience, and they all have a lot of premium design elements. Um, I'll go through the HTC One X to start, and we can kind of take a closer look at this device. One of the things that's fantastic about the camera on all of our HTC One products um, is how quick the camera is. So that is the speed to launch the camera. It's also how fast the shutter is in taking pictures. If I hold the shutter down for a second, wow. you can kind of hear it taking multiple shots. Um, when, when folks have their smartphone as their camera, we want to make sure they're, they're really getting quality photos, not just getting photos. Um, a lot of times you're taking moving photos, you're trying to capture a moment in the instance, and what this, uh, the shutter speed allows us to do is to have the opportunity to take multiple shots at once. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can really take the best, pick the best photo. And that could be the photo when your child smiles, um, the photo when somebody actually kicks the soccer ball or hits the baseball, um, and just really make sure that you get that shot that you're looking for, which, which otherwise can be difficult to capture. Um, the other thing that I want to show about the camera that is uh, really fantastic is the shutter is here for taking stills and the uh, video button is here for taking video. And you can switch back and forth between taking video and stills very easily all the time. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a lot built into the camera itself, into the camera lens, to make sure the photo qualities are really good. Mm -hmm. It's got a 2.0 f-stop. Uh, it it's back illuminated sensor, which means both those items mean more light is coming in the lens, which means you're getting better quality photos, as well as uh, clearer photos with less blur. Um, part of what is also great about this camera, and one of the features that I love the most, is the opportunity to take video take still photos while you're taking video. So this is something that hasn't been seen on a camera before. Um, and if we look right here, we're taking video. I can just snap high-res photos while I'm taking video. And it really takes away the need to make the choice between um, do I take video? Do I take photos? I want to capture whatever moment it is. Maybe it's singing happy birthday. And this gives you the option to do both. Nice. Now, aside from uh, just sort of basic camera operations, what other enhancements can people do from within the camera app that's different from what you get with stock Android? Yeah, there, there are a variety of options, and we can go through those right now. Um, taking photos in low light or no light is, is a challenge for cameras, period. So mm -hmm. one of the things we built in is a smart flash that helps gauge the amount of light that you want to take. Um, we also have built in some features that um, help decide if I'm in a bar and it's low light, um, if I'm outside and it's bright, or if I'm in a, a mixed light environment. HDR is a feature that takes three photos and combines them into one exposure so you get the best lighting. It takes mm. a, a low end, a high end, and combines them. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a variety of presets, HDR being one of them, like panorama, portrait, group portrait, to make sure that whatever environment in, you can easily have a selection to get the... Uh, the type of photo that you want to grab. Um, for advanced users, there are a multitude of settings from uh, the opportunity to choose the specific uh, ISO, uh, the opportunity to change the video quality, the opportunity to have a timer, white balance, continuous shooting, um, camera interface options uh, to make sure that customers can take, especially advanced customers, any type of photo that they want. Mm -hmm. We also have a variety of filters. Dots, um, Mono, Nashville, uh, things that make photos feel warm, grayscale, sepia. So you can see there's, there's just a huge amount of features that are built into the phone to either make sure you're, you're getting the best photo, whether it's the best quality photo, or a, a photo you think really represents the, the moment in time. Great.
Another feature that uh, we saw on the HTC Resound, which is the first uh, phone in the U.S. to have Beats Audio integrated, that the Beats Audio only activated when you played music in the stock music app, but I understand it's different with uh, the HTC One phones. Yes. Let me actually get the cell phone. In our music hub now, you'll notice that any internet radio, any music app is going to fall into the hub. So if you use your, uh, or watching YouTube, regardless, all of it's going to be integrated into Beats. Plus, the music hub is a great benefit on the new Sense 4.0 devices because if you've got a husband and wife and the, uh, the husband just likes to listen to the music that he's downloaded, but maybe the wife's a big internet radio fan, you don't have to bounce around the phone. All your music is all in one spot. Great. So it's Beats everywhere. Some of the new features you'll see on the bottom right of the device, we do have a button that if you press, it's going to pull up the pages of all your recent used apps. Apps. It shows the app, plus it gives the icon and the name at the bottom, for example. There's the music app. We were just demonstrating the, uh, the amazing, authentic music with beats. Of course, there's our settings, our call. So it, goes, so it gives you really quick access to what you've been bouncing around on. So in a crazy, hectic workday, you know, it makes the phone, using the phone much, much easier going application to application. You also notice that on the home screen, you also have your favorite icon. So this, once again, makes the experience of using the phone much easier. And you can add and delete these. So, for example, like we've got our music, our personalization, our car doc mode, Facebook. And also, you can see we, we have all the favorite Sense apps from before. For example, like the People widget. Uh, it still has the interactive lock screen. So when we pull up, we're going to have the interactive lock screen, quick access to the camera, the phone. Another one of the uh, modifications that HTC has made to ice cream sandwich is that um, normally in ice cream sandwich, when you go into the app drawer, you also see the widgets. But HTC has realized that some people might still be looking for their widgets the way that previous versions of Android did it. So in order to uh, get to widgets, you just tap and hold on one of the home screens, and then that brings up the widget drawer. And even though you're still able to like you know get the, the same widgets that you would get in any other ice cream sandwich device, it's just... Um, it's done a little bit differently here. It's uh, closer to what we got before. And the other thing I like about the widget drawer is that um, you can look at the list of widgets. You can look at um, the and also just icons of widgets. So it's just uh, multiple ways in which to, to find the widget that you're looking for. Because sometimes you don't want to scroll through a bunch of icons. You know the name of the widget you're looking for. You just need to get to it. Um, and so that's really nice. So again, this is more um, of HTC Sense, making it slightly easier for people um, to use. Android. This is something that we've brought in with Sense. So it's automatically going to bring up your maps. It's going to have the time, date, your stereo. Scroll over. There's your full music player. Of course, you can add stations with any internet radio site. Mm -hmm. If we scroll back and go to the left, of course, it's going to have all your navigation tools. Then you go over and you've got your call. And at any point in time, you can pop up and pop down and go into your contacts. And everything here is just sort of like larger and chunkier so that you can like yeah, see it. So when you got it in, when you got it in the docking station in your car it just makes it a little safer for the driver going around. Now we also have something that's uh, new with Sense 4.0 that makes it using it much easier. We still got the pinch to zoom, but you can notice this is the first device that allows you to add or delete the panels of our full screen phones. So for, you can add or delete the panels. So for the people that maybe do not need five, six, seven screens on their device, you can whittle it down to maybe one, two, three, or you can go you know, all the way up. So cool. it really makes customizing the phone much more elaborate.